Hey, hey, hey. The Orlando Magic have not exactly been a great team since losing Dwight Howard a little over a decade ago. Haven't had a whole lot of success, they've had a lot of busts, they've had a lot of bad seasons, and they've been labeled as one of the bad teams in the Eastern Conference over that time and a pretty easy win for the most part. But as we approach the 2022 NBA season, the Eastern Conference isn't exactly as weak as it has been in recent history, and the Magic are a part of that movement. Now don't get me wrong, the Magic are still a bottom three team in the East. I very much doubt that they're going to be in the runnings for the play-in spots or anywhere near that whole playoff chase in general, so just don't get me wrong on that. But for the first time in a while, I think it's safe to say that the Orlando Magic actually have an abundance of young talent on their team, and this is something that I feel like we haven't been able to say as NBA fans for, again, just quite some time. It feels like they've been stockpiling over recent years, just getting a bunch of picks and just trading for guys that other teams have given up on, a bunch of guys I'll be getting into in this video. But at this point in time, I feel comfortable saying that the future of the Orlando Magic is very much a legit one and something that NBA fans should be on the lookout for, as again, they're not going to be good this season, but they'll definitely have some fun, enjoyable moments and I think they'll be contending with a lot of teams on a nightly basis. And when it comes to that young talent, I think the guard position is where you see a whole lot of these guys that the Magic have and have taken chances on that have a very bright future ahead of them. Obviously they have the freshly drafted Jalen Suggs who's been getting these starts in the preseason alongside Gary Harris, but then you also throw in the fact that they have Cole Anthony and RJ Hampton coming off the bench as well. And in my opinion, all of those guys are worthy of the starting spots right now. So that's even just a little side thing that will be interesting to watch unfold. But if things do stay the way they are, no doubt in my mind that Cole Anthony and RJ Hampton, that pairing in the backcourt, might honestly be one of the best in the entire NBA in terms of backcourt duos. You just don't see a whole lot of at least young talent coming off the bench like that, and the Magic have two of them. Also not to mention, they still have Michael Carter-Williams and Markel Fultz injured and on the injury report, and on one hand I know MCW, he's not a whole lot, he has gone through a whole bunch of injuries and is a shell of his former self at this point, but Markel Fultz is someone who I still think has potential to show something and prove that he belongs in this league. I know he's had his fair share of injury concerns as well, but when healthy, he's at least shown that he is a capable starter in the NBA. So all in all, I feel like the Magic have at least five guys, five guards who are all very much worthy of that starting spot. Probably gonna be a whole lot of rotations based on injuries and stuff. Also wouldn't be surprised if someone gets shipped for other positional needs later in the season, but we'll get to that later. But I am very, very much ecstatic to see Jalen Suggs play the game of basketball. And not because I necessarily think he's going to be amazing in this first year. I assume he'll probably have a whole lot of struggles and have stretches where he just doesn't quite look that good. But from what I've seen so far, my favorite thing about Jalen Suggs and the way he plays basketball is he is one of those rare players who just thrives in absolute chaos. And by that, I mean when plays break down, you know, games on the line, something out of the ordinary happens, I feel like Jalen Suggs is always getting involved and somehow always making the right play whether it's getting back in transition for ridiculous blocks and defensive stops, or you know stealing an outlet pass and taking it straight to the rim. Those are just the type of things that Jalen Suggs just has really good instincts for, and those things are very tough to teach. So for Suggs to already be showing this at an NBA level is something that is really good. And then Cole Anthony was someone who, when he was drafted, I wasn't super high on him, but as the season went on, he definitely caught my attention because he could just follow and score the ball. He's someone that, on, on the very lowest of keys, I think could potentially wedge out some six-man-of-the-year votes if he does end up staying in that six-man role. Now, I think that's very unlikely, which is why I don't fully you know, latch on to this take. But again, I think he's going to be a very effective scorer off the bench, and even in the starting lineup, it doesn't matter, but wherever he's at, he's just going to be a very effective scorer. Obviously a small sample size, only playing three preseason games, but so far he's shooting 54% from three on over four attempts a game. So definitely want to see those attempts get up because I think he's capable of taking more and making more threes, which is always a good step in progression. But something that's caught my eye as well is he's also averaging over four assists per game so far in this preseason, which would be another huge leap for him if he can add that bit of playmaking to his game and be more than just a scorer. 
<laughs> and then the last guard I want to mention briefly is RJ Hampton because much like Jalen Suggs, RJ Hampton just always seems to be making the right play on the basketball court. He is just so gifted at being good at everything. Obviously when he was in Denver where he got drafted, he didn't get a whole lot of playing time because Denver was a contending team. They didn't have time for this rookie shooting guard to go get some reps. But ever since he got traded to the Magic, he's looked super comfortable on the court. He looks like he's able to maybe not run an offense, but play the PG spot very efficiently. And I made the comparison to Suggs because I feel like Hampton's just always making those great plays in transition where he's just getting you extra possessions, getting you extra buckets, and just overall having such a positive impact on the game. But honestly, the big reason why I wanted to make this video in the first place wasn't just because of the outstanding guard play that has been going on for Orlando, it's actually been the outstanding play of their big men. Because in their most previous preseason game, the Magic made a little bit of a headline by trotting out a starting lineup with both Wendell Carter Jr. and Mo Bamba. Which I feel like everyone at first, when you look at that lineup, you know, scratch your head and you say, what's going on here with a double big lineup with two guys who have not been great in the past, but it looked pretty damn good. It seems like the trade from uh, Chicago to Orlando for Wendell Carter has definitely paid off. Him just being able to get some reps in, much like RJ Hampton, and just be on a worse team where he's able to play a bit more free has definitely worked off well for Wendell Carter. His defense looks a lot better, his offense is even a little bit improved, he's starting to stretch the floor a bit more confidently. But the big storyline out of these two guys is that Mo Bamba has actually been good? I think everyone is collectively holding their breath because everyone's been burnt by Mo Bamba in the past before. But if you look at it, what he's been doing so far in the preseason, again, for, for context, He's still only 23 years old, so he's not even approaching his prime yet really, he's just barely getting there. He still has plenty of time to improve and become a real guy in this league. And so far in the preseason, in 20 minutes a game, he's averaging 12 points, 7 rebounds, and over 3 blocks per game on 58 40 50 shooting splits. But it's not just the numbers, if you watch him play, he actually looks pretty fluid and he's moving well he's hitting setback middies and he's hitting threes and some of them are even contested and i mean these are just all the things that were running through people's heads when they saw mo Bamba play in college you know they would say if he can get to this point he could be a great nba player then obviously he had the many years of turmoil where he just wasn't even anything close to what people imagined he could be but now we're seeing mo Bamba potentially unlocked and it's been really really fun but also weird to watch and um i mean i hope for the best for him but definitely something to keep your eye on for mo Bamba and the magic i can't believe i just said that now final point i want to make for orlando uh, before ending this video is, uh, you know, they're a rebuilding team, so this isn't a huge issue, but the one glaring hole when looking at their roster from, you know, just an outside point of view is they don't have any wings. Like, literally zero. <laughs> you know, maybe Franz Wagner can end up being that wing for them, but even if he works out in the end just as that defensive guy, they're gonna need more help, because obviously Jonathan Isaac could easily fill that role, but... He has a whole lot of questions with injuries, and he's had a lot of major injuries in recent years, so he's just, he's, he's just a big question mark in general. But as of now, I mean, it's quite literally Franz, Wagner, and then they're going to be using Terrence Ross, Gary Harris, and probably some Jalen Suggs at the three. And, you know, they have some other reserves that they can throw in there, but none of those guys have really looked quite amazing. So, But that's also why I brought up earlier the fact that because the Magic have so many young guards who are looking like they're going to be solid NBA players down the road, I wouldn't at all be surprised if they look to move one of them for an, a wing piece. You know, maybe they take a chance on someone who hasn't quite worked out yet. I don't know why the first name that's coming to mind right now is Troy Brown. But at the same time, the Magic are in absolutely no rush to get a deal done. Uh, they can wait and see what they have with their other young players. You know, Suggs, Hampton, uh, Anthony, Wagner, Bamba. I'm just naming names at this point. But yeah, I just wanted to check in and talk about the Orlando Magic because for some reason I had the urge to I actually think they're going to be really exciting to watch this year. I, I, I do stand by the fact that they're going to be a tough team to beat some nights. 
They might even pull off some upsets that come out of nowhere. And it'll be because the Magic have a really fun roster. They have guys that are capable of going off any given night. And in the NBA, that's all you need to win on any given night. So again, we're rocking with the Magic. We're going to be keeping tabs on them as the season goes. Hoping for the best for them. Uh, yeah, but that, uh, but that's it. That's all you can really talk about with the Magic right now. And if you've made it to this point in the video, then congratulations, you're a real one. Now, if you enjoyed this video, maybe think about hitting the subscribe button. It should be somewhere in this general direction. Or if you're not sure yet, maybe check out another video, which should be in this general direction. Either way, thank you for watching.